ready for your 73 questions. Absolutely, we were born ready. All right, so let's get started. What is your name? Chantel Brown. And where are you from? Kingston, Jamaica. And how many years into residency are you? Two. Two. And where did you go to undergrad? Rochester Institute of Technology in New York. And medical school? I went to Ross University. At the time, it was in Dominica. And for those interested in internal medicine, what's the process and how long did it take after med school? Well, you know, you have to go through that match process and then you go to your program and you do three years where you get to see a wider range of specialties. And do you know what you want to sub-specialize in? Right now it's palm crit. Palm crit, great choice. Now, where are we right now? We're in the MICU. What is your favorite part of this rotation in the MICU? To be honest, I really love the complexity of these patients. It really challenges you and you get to see a wide range of pathologies. And I know you guys also do procedures here, so what procedures? Absolutely. One of the best parts of this rotation and, to be honest, this program is that day one, you get to put in central lines, arterial lines, and the fellows are so willing to teach you how to do these procedures. Okay, so do you get any training on how to perform these procedures? Absolutely. Prior to getting to start out doing all those procedures, you know, you have to go through an, a coveted like course with the chiefs and other um, similar professionals that help us practice for these procedures on the real deal. <laughs> now, one of the most important questions, how was the schedule? The schedule, ha, huh, that is really, really good actually. Um, you do work 12 hours. But, you know, you come in at 7 a.m., you leave at 7 p.m., and we have someone who is dedicated just for nights. And you get a day off. So, for the ICU, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, what is your favorite or best patient memory? Ah, uh, that's interesting. Uh, my, in doing my first year, one of the fellows actually had me help with a thoracentesis, uh, where we got to pull some fluid off the lungs at the bedside. Yeah. I can't wait till I get to do some of that. Absolutely. How it seems you guys are busy all day, all the time. Do you guys have time to do academics? Absolutely. You know, in the mornings we definitely have, you know, um, morning reports where we get to just kind of see, you know, different complex cases go over them. And we also have noon conferences where we are allowed to, all of our attendants know about this and we're allowed to go to noon conference and kind of reinforce our knowledge that we get right here on the unit. And so do your residents teach each other too? Absolutely. One of the strong points of our program is that, you know, we get a lot of experience with leadership. We have a lot of medical students, so we get to teach day one as an intern, and they definitely, at these conferences, at these morning conferences and noon conferences, kind of help to reinforce, you know, the teaching and teaching each other. So this is cool, obviously. I'm a med student. Can you teach me something real quick? Absolutely. So when you have a DKA patient, don't forget to put that sub insulin on two hours before you turn that insulin drip off. I'll remember that when I get to my Mickey rotation. So working in a Mickey must be pretty intimidating. So what happens if there's, I don't know, a cardiac arrest? Well, one of the good parts too is that you get to, as a resident, work alongside the fellows when it comes to these code blues. Um, you, day one, you will be helping to run that code and be taught how to efficiently um, resuscitate someone. Hope that quick tour of the wiki was really helpful. Actually, I hear someone calling my name. It's time for me to run, but I have a great co-resident, Rob, who will be helping you, okay? Sure thing. Oh, hey, I can take it from here. Oh, okay. Well, who are you? I'm Rob Summers. And what year are you? I'm the second year. And what rotation are you on? I'm on Red Medicine, one yeah. of our ward teams. Inpatient? Inpatient. If you're on inpatient wards, what are you doing in the MICU? Well, here, let's walk and talk. So, I come down to the MICU to essentially lay eyes on anybody they want to transfer from inside the ICU out to the floor or to a step-down unit. While doing so, it lets me to evaluate the patient, lay hands, and you know, kind of get a tailored history and physical exam. Gotcha. So, where are we heading right now? Let's go back to Red Medicine, our okay. work group. How are, how are your other residents? Oh, everybody's great. You know, enjoy hanging out. These are some of my best friends. Friends? Yeah. 
you're a resident. How do you have time to have friends and actually enjoy? Oh, man, you know, work hours aren't that bad. So we get together a decent amount outside of work. We have a wellness committee that essentially throws, you know, get togethers. And then, you know, there's always activities like watching football, playing golf, tailgating, all kinds of fun stuff. Gotcha. So what's your day to day life? I'm curious. Day to day life. So usually get into work about 650 to get sign out from the overnight team. Uh, and then once we're here, you know, work until about 730. And then we have our morning report Monday through Friday if you're on inpatient services. And then after that, you work until about nine doing your pre-rounds, at which point you will start rounding, usually table rounds, with one of the attendings. Um, after that, do orders until noon, go to noon conference, and then depending on the day of the week and whether or not you're on call, check out around 3 o'clock to 7 p.m., depending on your schedule. Okay. So who is the on-call team, or what does that mean? Yeah, so the on-call team is the admitting team um, for the day. So they have the admission pager. We have four teams. Um, each team essentially covers every four days taking admissions from the emergency department mostly or transfers from the ICU. Um, and so they get the pager for that. And then when the other teams go home at three o'clock and check out, the call team essentially cross covers the uh, other team's patients and provides, you know, care and things like that. Sure. And I've heard the term night float being thrown around a couple mm -hmm. times. Can you explain what that is? Yeah, so essentially when you're on wards, you're never on nights. Uh, it's a dedicated team, uh, upper level and an intern. Upper level handles the admissions. Intern kind of cross covers essentially for all the floor patients. Okay. And with you guys signing out around 3 p.m., who kind of takes care of the patients up until 7? Yeah, that's, again, the cross-cover team. Uh, they like to take care of things. Okay. And if you have to change an order, how do you do it from home? So we do have home access, and so I like to keep my pager on, you know, if I'm checking out at 3 p.m. That way, you know, it, it can bog you down on cross-cover. You know, if somebody needs a Tylenol, that's not no big deal, so you can handle that from home. Good. Now, something that I am curious, and I think we all need to know, coffee, tea, or soda? Uh, I'm a big coffee guy. Um, in fact, yeah, I can use the coffee right now. You want to go with me? Sure. All right, let's get some. It's just right next door. Perfect. Now, Come on. what is the best thing that has happened to you today? Best thing that's happened to me today? Man, I'm just enjoying being here, uh, hanging out with you guys, you know. I haven't gotten too many admissions today, so enjoying that. Not bad. So how often are you guys on call? So call is every fourth day, essentially. We, uh, you know, there's a rotating system based off color, but not, not too overwhelming. And, you know, you pick up new patients every few days. Okay. So, what's your favorite thing to get for lunch here? Ooh, favorite thing for lunch here, Taco Tuesday. Hands down, they do pretty massive taco bowls every single Tuesday. Favorite spot for food in Augusta? <sighs> favorite spot in Augusta. Well, there's Manuel's Bread Cafe just across the river, fantastic brunch. And then there's, let me see, well, you said one, ah, one favorite. Yeah, probably Manuel's. It's a very, very good choice. And what's your favorite hobby outside the hospital? Uh, hobby outside the hospital, I enjoy playing golf. Uh, more specifically, stealing Brandon Walker, who's one of our current chiefs, money as I whack the floor with him. <laughs> and I'm just curious, uh, I know a lot of people, singles match, couples match, do you have any experience with that? Yeah, so I actually couples matched here with my wife, Shauna. Uh, she's an OBGYN resident. 
Alrighty, and that process went all smooth? Yeah, they're pretty couples match friendly here. We have a lot of residents who have couples matched either, you know, in-house. So I know there's a couple IMOB couples. Uh, there's some IM and PATH, IM and other general surgery. And then there's also another hospital in town, Eisenhower, the military hospital. So we have some IM, IM, IM general surgery. Really just whatever you can think of. Come on in. Getting the page now. Looks like we got another transfer from the CVICU. So let's head on up there and then I'll hand you off to James while I get this guy tucked in. Sure thing. How are you doing? Yeah. Good. I'll get him tucked in for you. Yeah, all right. All right, so James, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? Not too bad. So, what year are you? I'm a second year, so I'm the upper level here in the CCU. And this looks like a shiny new place. What is this? Yeah, so uh, we just got a new uh, renovation to our CCU unit. Uh, we take care of LBAT patients, uh, critical care uh, cardiac patients. Um, patients who's had um, heart, heart attacks or cardiac arrest um, and so yeah this is a brand new unit um, and yeah can you show me around yeah sure so where do these patients go after they're stabilized um, so they usually go down to the cardiology floor okay and what floor is that so basically it's on the sixth floor six north um, and we have a dedicated unit for our cardiac patients Gotcha. Yeah. So a lot of exposure to many different specialties. Yeah. What do you want to do after residency? Um, I'm really loving the CCU right now, so I'm definitely thinking cardiology at this point. Does everyone in your program apply for fellowship? No, not everybody. Um, we have a big diverse group of uh, people that go on to do different careers. Uh, we have a lot of fellowships here. A lot of people go on to do primary care. Um, people go on to do hospital medicine and such like that. Okay. And I know I remember from my time rotating here for internal, you guys uh, have a gray medicine team. So what's so special about it? Yeah, so our gray medicine team is our hospitalist rotation where we basically get to take care of our own patients. It's just you and the attending and maybe a sub intern. And you basically take care of your own patients as if you were a hospitalist. Okay, so what do they do with their week off? So Green Medicine is a rotation where we have one week on and we have one week off just like a hospital is. So what we do in our off time is up to you. Uh, we do have assigned mix out questions that we have to do um, that's assigned to us by our program. But other than that, you're free to go wherever you want, do whatever you want. It's like an extra two weeks of vacation. So you get to rest up and get prepared for the board. Exactly. So what fellowships do you offer? We offer a lot here. We actually offer cardiology, palm crit, GI. We do um, sports medicine, which is a new fellowship. Um, we have hemonc. Um, we have endocrine. Uh, there's a bunch of specialties here, and a lot of our residents go on to do those fellowships. Okay. And now, what's your best way to take a rest and kind of decompress? Soccer, for sure. For I've sure. Seen you on the soccer field a couple of times. Yeah. Now, what's one thing people don't know about you? One thing somebody doesn't know about me is um, I'm really passionate about medicine. Um, this was not my first career choice, but um, is definitely one of the career choices that has been leading me in the last 10 years, and I'm just very excited to just be able to do what I really truly love. Great answer. Now, what was your best day in residency so far? Best day in residency had to be today when the head nephrologist, Dr. Malloy, told me I did really well this week, said that uh, we had a really great team. She said that um, I really took ownership of my patients. I really took time to teach our students and to teach our interns. And so really that was, that was my best day today. Good to hear. Now, do we have any of these rooms empty where you could kind of show us? Um, yeah, I'm sure we can find one. Come on.
So what's the typical setup here? Um, so you know we have a we have a bed here. We have our cardiac monitoring or our telem telemetry system that's usually hooked up here. It's hooked up to this box. Um, this is the um, drips, um, and then all the rooms in the CCU comes with a view. So nice. all as Augusta. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have oxygen, um, we have a bathroom here, you know, every room in the CCU comes with a computer. You can log on here and definitely sanitize it in port. Absolutely. Now, do you guys get to work with any skills like an ultrasound? Yeah, definitely. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, um, I have a patient that I need to do an ultrasound on. Uh, we do bedside ultrasounds here. Um, for to see how our patients' uh, hemodynamics are going, and it definitely can alter the chain, um, the plan of how we treat our patients. And where did you guys get so proficient with that? So on our plus two block, which we'll go over later, um, we have simulation where we can go to the sim lab and we can practice our ultrasound skills, and we can we can practice on what we're actually looking for and how that'll change our management. Right. Still gonna be asking? You still gonna be answering some questions? Uh, actually, you know, we can't allow any cameras inside the patient's room. But I was gonna hand you off to uh, Dr. Perez, who is gonna be in clinic. So he'll have a lot of uh, time to answer some of your questions before he goes see his patients. All right. Well, best of luck, James. All right. Thanks. You can bring us back. Hi, Dr. Ronaldo. Oh, hey. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, and you? Good. I think James sent me this way. Oh yeah, James. Yeah. All right. So, what is your name and where are you from? My name is Reynaldo Perez Mold. I must say them all because my sister will get mad if I don't. Um, and I am born and raised in Puerto Rico. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And so, being from around here, I know that Acosta has a pretty large Spanish-speaking population. Is that true? That is very true. So we do a lot of inpatient and outpatient. Um, a Hispanic patients, and as well all of our residents kind of um, volunteer in Clinica Latina, which is a med student run um, a clinic for the uninsured Hispanic a population here in Augusta, but you don't need to worry. We always have interpreters 24 seven, so we're good. That's awesome. Now, James mentioned we're going to a clinic, right? Yes. So is, is that where we're going? Yeah, so I'm heading to the continuity clinic. I'll hop along. We made it, here we are, Continuity Clinic. All right, so what is Continuity Clinic? So Continuity Clinic is whenever we have our plus two, we have our time so we can do um, outpatient rotations. Um, basically, we're just here for an entire day, one day of that week. Uh, unless you're on your vacation, which the opposite week, you're just gonna have half day clinics. But good things are Wednesdays are off. Okay, so let me get this straight. How often do you have clinic? So clinic will always happen whenever you're in a plus two. So basically every other month you're gonna have your plus two and you're gonna have your clinic. And you mentioned uh, you guys have Wednesdays off. So what do you guys do on those Wednesdays? Yeah, so Wednesdays are off because every other Wednesday we have a full academic day. So we're gonna do, um, we do multiple deal reviews. We do QI project with the supervision of an attending. Then we have our lunch break, lunch conference. And then on the afternoon, it's all full-blown simulation lab. So we do either ACS, BLS, um, full-blown cases, um, and even we work on the ultrasound. Awesome. So you mentioned this four plus two system uh, mm -hmm. for a couple of days, and I heard a little bit from James too. What mm -hmm. is that? So that's a very good question. So four plus two just means the amount of time you're gonna be in a rotation. So four A means you're, whenever you're an inpatient, you're four weeks, and then your plus two is gonna be your elective. So even though you do an elective in an inpatient setting, that's when you're gonna have your uh, clinic here. Okay, and I'm not miss this earlier, but you yeah. get two weekends off a month on inpatient, right? Uh, so whenever you're on your rotations uh, and your elective plus two, all the weekends are off. Awesome. And where can you be found on these golden weekends? Ooh, so whenever I'm on my uh, off weekends, I either go to a nearby city to catch up with friends or I'm playing video games. Depends on the mood. <laughs>
Both are great options. Now, what type of electives do you guys have? So, um, actually, we, we have almost everything here. Um, and even we have cross cover with other um, residencies, so we can do even anesthesia or pain management, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, what if you want to do something you guys don't offer in house? Um, that's very easy. Um, you find a hospital who's offering that elective that you're interested in, and then you go there and do it. Uh, even abroad? Yeah, even abroad. Um, actually, we have a rotation in Uganda, so that's pretty cool. Whoa, are you yeah. gonna do it? Yeah, probably. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, kind of more about the city of Augusta, what's your favorite place to do things outdoors? Ooh, so depends on what you're trying to do outdoors, but I really, really like a river walk. River walk, mm -hmm. great choice. Have you ever been kayaking? I have been kayaking multiple times and I love it. Awesome. Now, kind of, you're the last one I'm interviewing. So, uh, what would you like to be remembered for? We're gonna bring it home with the deep questions. <laughs> um, I would like to be remembered as the um, spicy ray of sunshine of the residency. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> now, what is the best piece of advice you have received when going through the match? So whenever I was going to a match, the best advice that I got was be truly yourself. That's the best way that you'll be able to match in a place that you should be end up going. And why did you choose Augusta University slash MCG? So what truly uh, pulled me into this program is the people. Uh, attendees are extremely approachable. The entire team is extremely great with interaction with the other and academically they're extremely strong. So. All great reasons. Mm -hmm. And are you thinking of pursuing a fellowship? Yes, I am applying to cardiology, so. Quite the popular one. <laughs> and now, kind of last question. Yes. What would you say as far as advice to the aspiring internal medicine resident? Listen, my advice will always be never underestimate the power of melatonin. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice. Well, thank you so much, Ronaldo, as well as to you and all your colleagues. Uh, you've been great this afternoon and telling you best of luck. Oh, thank you very much. Have a good one, okay? Me too.